the Out of Nowhere podcast was filmed by ourselves in an alleyway in Newark, New Jersey. Gonna... Oh, Mr. Perfect it? Oh, I can't do that. You're the best. You'll anyway. Get You'll get it. What's We're up, back. everybody? We're back. Yes, we are. Oh, bang. All right. Well, Lot he's Matt. Practice. I'm John. We're yeah. Back from Out of Nowhere. Oh, man. How you doing? You know? Uh, Are you you down today? No. Uh, I'm just like... You in a funk? You know, a funko? Pop? Funky show Medina. It's like we record these things after work, right? Yes. And it's just annoying because people are still bothering you. All day. After work. Amazing. It's like we're trying to record the world's greatest podcast. It is literally the world's greatest... It's the best. Best best of goals. Yeah. Anyway. Um... We got a new episode today. We do, but let me just let's get this out of the way. Go ahead. Cowboys lost. Uh, Eagles lost. They're out of the playoffs. So good. Um, we uh, yeah. Last week. I, I think these these next two weeks are the greatest two weeks for football. If you're a fan of football, because you have like the, the best eight teams. Are you talking about the Pro Bowl? Because no, that's coming up literally next Bowl. week. No, not the Pro Bowl. They don't even do the Pro Bowl anymore. It's like it's just garbage. Mm-hmm. They play flag football. <laughs> anyway, they have a they have a drone that drops a ball. Uh, yes, we should do something <laughs> like that. Yeah. Uh huh. Anyway, yeah. Somebody had a bachelor party that tried to do that. Huh? Well, we didn't do it at the bachelor. We did it at Bob's house. Wow. We we're testing it. it. Didn't work out. It was Bob. Bob. Anyway, so we have an episode to end all episodes. Not really. All right. Four episodes. Or four, I'm sorry. Four topics. Yeah. Um, and a rush. And a rush. Yeah. Rush. Anyway. Our Renegades. Not I, not the band Rush. No. It's funny you mentioned that because I was looking at that on our last week's. Yeah. And, uh, or the other podcast. I right? don't. I'm not a Rush fan. Me neither. It's just. Yeah. It's They're Canadian. Too wine. Are, are you That's what Canada? it is. They're Canadian. No, but it's. You know, They're too nice. America and Canada, there's always. You take something that's American, you take something that's c- Canadian. Yeah. And it's, it's just missing. That one from Canada is just missing something. Yeah. And that's what Maybe Rush is. Maybe a backbone. Is. Maybe a backbone. A backbone or just, there's Parliament. just something different that just. <laughs> yeah. All right. Grinds my gears. Does that really grinds your gears? Yeah. I need five minutes on the clock. Sure. Because we're going to oh, go. We're doing We're going to do topic number one. Okay, go ahead. Okay. This this is very near and dear to my heart. Yeah. All right. What is the best and worst, best or worst, mm-hmm. public restroom? So in a pinch. Yeah. You got to pinch one off. So, well, here's the thing. I, I, I've been in sales all my life. Mm-hmm. So there's a, there were a lot of times. Let me tell you why I suck at sales. <laughs> there was a lot of times I was out uh-huh. all day. Mm-hmm. Like away from the office, so you need to find your go-to These... unlocked bathrooms. Okay, they don't need to necessarily be public in in the way you would think a public restroom is no. at a shop, right? Correct. Because that's these are office. These would be offices. So I've I've been around. Ooh, okay, I've been around. So I, let me let me say this: um, Cole's Department Store. Mm-hmm. Great I, manicure. I think Manicured bathrooms. There. While while I think of the, the the real one, I think the best I've ever seen yep. is the Wegmans. And I'll I've go never sp- dabble. I'll go specifically in Parsippany. Okay, well that's the only one in the area. Go uh, on. Yes, but that Wegmans, it's yeah. th- so what what makes a good restroom to you? To me, yeah. Um, a yeah. Just it looks like I'm walking into a like a the hotel. A hotel always has good bathrooms, uh-huh. like in the. In like the lobby area, yeah, because they're they're cleaned all the time. Yeah, this the the Coles bathroom, mm-hmm. at least the one by my house, mm-hmm. looks like it's up kept. Yeah, it they don't store uh, other like mop buckets in that area. Yeah, they have a completely separate janitor janitorial genitalia. Sure, Genita- <laughs> Genita- <laughs> genitalia. <laughs> they have complete janitorial. Yeah, um, janitor's closet or something yeah. like that. Yeah, um, the worst one. Okay. I, you know, I didn't give much. Go ahead. <laughs> I could tell you the uh, worst I could probably one. Tell you, yeah. Go ahead. Was the sports authority bathroom? Oh. <laughs> that thing um, has seen better, better days. days. Um, and it close, it actually edged it out. Yeah. Just by the smell, mm-hmm. the BJ's Wholesale Club bathroom. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
on Howard Boulevard mm-hmm. in um uh, Give them the exact Mountain. address so they can I used to work there. Smell it. It smelled like um if you left chicken out mm-hmm. fermenting. Oh. Yeah. That's just, it just it, dead raw meat. It smelled like salmonella. Yeah. It was terrible. Yeah. Anyway, those are my two mm-hmm. um best and worst, in my opinion. I'm sure there's a bunch that uh kind of check the boxes either one. Um but those that's me. Um, I think I think what makes a good restroom. Yeah. So the one in Wegmans, it's got like a long trough for the for the. No, no, no. I don't like those. No, no, no. Like the old not giant those. stadium. No, not those. It's Where got a trough it? for the sink. So the trough sink. Trough or trough? Trough. Okay. Trough. Okay. Good. Trough. Okay. We're not. We're done. We're done with that episode. So this one, what what I don't like is the ones that just have the air, the blow drying air. Ah, uh, yes. You need. Paper towels. Paper towels. You need paper towels. Right. So sometimes, you know, you wash up, you finish that. Yep. I always sometimes will hit my face. Yep. Just because you just want to freshen up. You can't dry your face with, with the blow dryer. Well, then you look like an idiot. But it, the other good one is in uh, the Weiss. They have the Dyson Air Blade. Oh, the one where you go. Yes. So yep. let's just, we'll go, We'll let's just, since we're talking about the worst restrooms. Go on. And best. Mm-hmm. I need, I need... The dividers in the stalls to come down. For the urinals. No, in the stalls. All, all the way I, to the bottom? I don't necessarily need all the bottom. They need to come down further than your normal one would. I don't know why. Right. It just it kind of feels like it's in your own room. Um, right. But the sink is a good one. The You need to have paper towels. Yeah. Right. Exactly. And you also don't need a sign mm-hmm. to fl- uh, people... Please do not flush the paper towels. That's a sign of a good bathroom that <coughs> they not don't need. Sign? That you don't need to post that sign. I don't think it's that. I don't think it's really a product of that establishment. Well, because people are idiots and they will flush anything. large wads of paper towel. Anything. Yeah, they'll flush yeah. whatever they can flush. Whatever they can. Um, one thing I thought you were going to say. Go on. And let me get your thoughts on this. Yes. The sign that says employees must wash hands. That's another sign. Of. <laughs> A terrible bathroom. But that, like, is that by, co- is that that by code? Sign, is that by code? Like the 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 EPA needs to. Not I, the EPA. I don't know, but that sanitation department that tells has to me <laughs> that they're probably not washing their hands. Or right, or or, or you need th- to be told to there's an that. issue, <laughs> and they're I, addressing. The I issue. think I think that sign is probably one of the worst. <laughs> Because there's, it's just a sign. Well, there's, there's the condition no, of that sign. There's no proof, though. There's no. But the condition of the sign should also show. That's five. Um, the how how good these employees are because if yeah. it's a brand new sign, untouched, with the, <laughs> it, the, it was just mounted. Yeah. Then, I don't know. I don't like that sign. Yeah. Just, just because there's no accountability. There just because no there's a sign that says that, there's no. Right. There's no accountability. So whatsoever. coming from a home turf. Dumper? Yeah. Oh, like, I'm home turf. Yeah. I have to, right? So I gotta I'm, have the home field advantage. Home field advantage. Anyway, yeah. I just had to close on that. Yeah. Um. Though. Yeah. So if, I will limit the amount of times I I play a road game. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's and, tough. And, yeah. An away game is tough ahead. on that one. Yeah. So. <clears throat> yeah. That was that. Do you know a good one? Let us know in the comments down uh, below. Yeah. All right. We may need it. Our listeners may need it at some point. Topic number two. Yeah. You put this one on there. Yeah, <clears throat> you you take this away. Yeah. So this next this next topic is 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 general. It's time travel. Wow. Time travel in general. Yes. Your thoughts in general. Yeah. Do I have to travel in general? Yeah. Okay. Well. General so, Motors. General Motors. Not to be confused with. <sighs> I have questions about yes. time travel. Yeah. Do I? Please. Do I know? Let me answer your questions. Do I know what I know now? So that was the second part of this. Would you travel if you could? You could only go once. Okay. Would you travel to the future, right? Or would you travel to the past? Okay. I th- I think if you're go- if we're using the movie Back to the Future as our the rules our guideline the rule structure everything that you know now right you'll know in the future you'll know in the past uh huh and and the rules of Back to the Future are very yes. very stipulating they're very clear they're very clear so if you Edit the past in yeah. such a way that has a trickle down effect, mm-hmm. right? So it has a ripple effect, as they call. It. Yes. So uh, I don't know. I I mean, I may want to go w- like hmm. I don't know, man. Would you want to know how you died? I don't. 
I know how I'm going to die. I'm going to die on this podcast. But <laughs> I mean, so, but you mean you have to go to the future. Two. <laughs> that could be an episode. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we got that. That will go viral on this one. Yeah. So watch him die. Watch him die. An episode. Yeah. Three, two, one. No, I. I guess the future. Um, mm -hmm. Past. You know what? I would like to go to the future. Past when I died. So Does you're already think? dead. I'm well, already that, dead. As you know, that would probably cause a. Um, what do they call it? What do you call it? Um, you're, a rip in the space no. time continuum? Yeah, but you're, you're, you're messing that up. No, there's a... a what is the so, word? So, 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 okay. An alternate timeline? You will have an alternate timeline. Well, because I'm... Right. Well, I guess you would still get there. I don't well, know. would I be... Would I be... <laughs> would I go clear? But then you... But how would you still be alive? Well, no, you, you said travel to the no, yeah, future. Yeah, but you're go, But now you're in the future. So the, so the constraint is I have to be still living. Uh, I don't know. You. I don't see why you couldn't go to the future. The problem is you would be dead, but you would still be alive. Correct. <sighs> so we're going to have to go to the rule book on that. Wow. Um, um, the almanac? The <laughs> I'll tell you one thing, however. <laughs> oh, no. We're going. We're going to the almanac, baby. Uh, I, I think <laughs> if I had to choose, I would go back to the past. Well, of course. That's the alternative. No, well, I mean, if I, I wouldn't go to the future... The future. I would, yeah, I would go to the past. I think I would be able to change. Like when? I would pro I would probably go to the I'd say before no. No, you I keep one. I say where I was still alive. Well again, it comes down to the but, rules. Okay. So so but so riddle me this. In yep. Back to the Future Three, yep. he goes back to the wild, wild west. Right? Yeah. He wasn't alive then. That's but that's what I'm saying. It goes back to you saying that you'd go to the future, you would still be alive, even though after you had died. Okay. So it, he wasn't in existence. There's yet. nothing wrong with that. What you, the hell is the word that I'm thinking of? It's a specific word that it, space time time. No, continuum. there's a word. There's a word. You like you going back and killing yourself. Right. Would cause a rift. There's a word. It's not a rift. It's a word. Comment down below. A ripple. Before we, before I figure a it out. Butterfly effect. No, they say it a million times. It's a butterfly effect. No. Anyway, sorry. Yeah. We should have done research, but as you know, we don't do anything for this podcast. This comes out of nowhere. Yeah. This is it. Yeah. We literally wrote this down three months ago. <laughs> What's going to be funny is nothing about it. The word that I'm looking for is going to come out at of the nowhere. end of this. No, it'll probably be a different episode. It'll be fine. And then you're going to strangle me to death. And it's, that's I don't want to call die. it. It's not a juxtaposition. A what? Yeah, exactly. Right. Whoa! Look that up. Look up a synonym for juxtaposition. Let's see if I'm even just right. Juxtaposition. I even know that. Just <laughs> juxtaposition. That I've never heard of that word. There is a word. It just. would be like you going back and killing yourself would cause a the fact of two things being seen or placed close together with contrasting effect. Yeah. Synonym. Yeah. A. Um. Come on. It's a. It's a. Uh, what is the word? JP is probably watching this right now, knowing the word. Abutment, no. contact, nearness, proximity, no. touching. There's some. It would. It would really destroy everything because you. You went oh. back. You know the word? No. God Almighty! All right. Well, that was five. No, we have seven seconds to come up with that word. <sighs> Dead air here. Dead air. That's it. That's no, it. There's uh, a no. word. There's a word. There's a word. Strong marriage. Come on. Something about destroying the space-time continuum yep. would cause a galactic catastrophic. No, no catastrophic. They say it in. They say it in the thing. Anyway, let's go to the next. Let's go to the next um, topic, please. I will introduce it because it's one of my favorites. It's near and dear to my heart. I didn't pick this topic, but we are talking about the best hamburgers. Boom! You're a hamburger guy. I like a good, well, so hamburger, cheeseburger. I'm a cheeseburger guy. It has to have cheese. Okay. I, I'm a cheeseburger guy. Bacon cheeseburger. Okay. Bacon chi. Ooh, bacon chi. Mm -hmm. I also like a good bacon chi. Yeah. Um, this, again, is its own episode. Has to be. Because we get, we need to talk about formal hamburgers. Ooh. We need to talk like about. Like a sit down restaurant. A sit down restaurant. We yeah. need to talk about fast food burgers. I know. And we need to talk well, about um, uh, toppings and. Like a dirty, so a dirty best, hamburger. Yeah. yeah. A dirty hamburger, uh, a yeah, in a pinch hamburger. Yeah. Um, oh, Let's I, go with best hamburger ever. Do you have one? Ever? Yeah, it's tough. I might have to go Five Guys on that. F I I would put Fuddruckers over okay. Five Guys. Okay. So, 
Oh, wow. Five Guys is a good, I believe I would put Five Guys in with the fast food. So, so what? what's interesting about Five Guys? Mm -hmm. Five Guys, it's fast food, but... It's not fast food, it's good food, fast. Right, so they cook it to yeah. order. Yeah. They have the ability to make that thing medium rare. Mm -hmm. So does medium, but you, can, you, I know, but Fuddruckers asks you what it is, and Five Guys does not. Five Guys does not ask you how you want your burger cooked. They hmm. cook it to their specifications. So, okay, Habit Burger well, is I, another one. I think it's very good. Is there one nearby? What a Habit Burger? Habit Burger. There's one in Parsippany. <laughs> it's it's pretty good. Anyway, um. But best burgers, I think best burger that I've ever had. Yeah. I don't know, man. That's tough. That's a tough, tough one. I've been all around the world. Me too. Eating hamburgers. Me too. I've been in Germany eating hamburgers. I've been in Germany. No, and I have it all around the world. It was crazy. I mean, I Are tried they good to order. There? Different? It's decent, and uh -huh. but they cook the daylights out of it because they're afraid of mad cow disease. No joke. Still? Still. Was that from the nineties? Yeah, it was. And and the bar the bartender um, that served me it was. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it was an Americana style uh, oh. bar. Mm -hmm. I was at the airport, and he goes, uh, he goes, I once had a medium rare hamburger. <laughs> it was like he he was like reminiscing was, yeah. back to his childhood. He was dreaming it's about like, it. I was on holiday, and uh, <laughs> I was like, go on. I'm like, I'm yeah. gonna as soon as I land, I'm gonna get mm -hmm. one because this is cooked to, to. It was like meatloaf. Yeah. Anyway, um, I'm gonna go. I, with, I, I'm gonna go with Five Guys right now. I usually I found that they usually don't cook it the way I ask, so I have to like plan ahead. Uh -huh. I'll usually ask for it well done because it comes back a little bit less than well done. Uh huh. Right, because because they want juiciness. They want they want that <coughs> good tasting burger. Because anything that's well done is probably burnt and terrible. No. Yes. Um, True story. No. Um, do you like your steaks well done too? I do. What is up with this? I don't. Medium I, rare. I don't know. I don't like to see the pink. The uh, well, um, Arthur's Steakhouse. Usually, steakhouses have good hamburgers too. Usually, not a fan of that particular one. Not that establishment. No. Okay. There are uh, there are others. There's a place called Kokomo. There's a place. Actually, Polo's Bar, Bar and Grill has a good good. Uh, they do. Too. I think I had it. Uh, That's a pretty good. Weeks ago. But again, so you get different sizes because it's like a quarter pound. It's like a, a third pound burger, uh, like a half pound burger. This is another reason I like Fuddruckers. So right, because first of all. Fud, you, you, it's not just the, we're not talking about just the, the hamburger itself. Right, it's all the, okay. the toppings. It's every, well, not just the toppings, but that bun at Fuddruckers is unbelievable. Un unbelievable. Identical. Go on. And that's five minutes already. Is it already? No, it's not. Sorry, it's ESPN. Oh my gosh. The Warriors jazz game has been postponed. Wow. Um, Don't look that up. Um... I, I gotta go Fuddruckers. You pick the size too. You get a half pound, yeah. you get a quarter pound, yep. and you get a full, I think you get a full pound. Do you remember the exotic burgers there too? I never got Where one. Where they had the elk burger, the no, ostrich burger. I do remember it being there. I do know at different- the Bison burger? They have different menus for different uh, places. I think they did away with it because- No, they, no, no sir. No, no, no sir. well, yeah, they did. The one in- The one, one in Parsippany. Yeah, that, that one. That one had a great, it was called a pepper bacon- Ooh. Relish. Ooh. Unbelievable. Unmatched. So you'd, you'd get Unbridled. a bacon, you get a bacon cheeseburger. They also have a sriracha, sriracha, but they don't have it at this one here. Really? You get another good one is a bacon blue burger. Ooh, with the blue also cheese. Also from Fuddruckers. Yeah. Not a fan? Not a fan. I don't like blue cheese Damn. burger. Damn, man. Damn. Dang, Gina. Dang. Anyway. Best best fast food burger of the big three or four? Do you have one? It's gotta be a double uh double cheese. Double G? Double G or From? double what? From? McDonald's. I think you're McDonald's. a McDonald's guy. I because you know why? Because the Western Whopper screwed me Bad. big time. See, I think that's the problem though. You're not you're Wild Wild West. Will Smith came out. It was terrible. There was a burger, there was I think it was a Godzilla burger Ooh. back in 2004 ish when Godzilla the remake came out. Godzilla! <laughs> it was three patties, but they were bigger patties. Okay. And uh this is um, Wendy's? No, Burger King. Okay. And it was so heavy in the middle <laughs> that just, it would literally just fall out of the bun. Like kind of like Ledger and Mall did. Yeah. It <laughs> fell out? It fell out. Notice how Wendy's was not on this? No baconator? I do like a baconator. So I'm I don't think I I've like ever a had a baconator, but um the junior bacon cheese 
Yeah, do, Junior Bacon Chi? Were, were great when they were on the dollar menu 100 years ago. Yeah, dollar, Remember menu, that? dollar menu was good. Even dollar uh, menu McDonald's had the dollar menu. You get those burgers. That was wild. What a time to be alive. Them. That's when I would travel back in time to. I will. Dollar I was, menu. Well, <laughs> so I think, yeah, so if we're going back to time travel, I would go back right before I started so high school. So we're traveling back in time in this podcast. Yeah, but you might as well go back right. even further. Maybe I would go back to like when I was... 10 or 11. Mm -hmm. I think 6th, 7th, and 8th grade is a perfect time because you got the 90s and then you're getting ready for high school. I know everything I need to know already. You know all the moving I, parts. I think for the most part. <laughs> I don't know how I would do in school though. Oh, I'd still fail out. Yeah. You know, like, uh, it, it's the um, quantum leap mm -hmm. <laughs> when Scott Bakula turns mm -hmm. and he looks at the mirror and he realizes what he looks like. Uh -huh. I love those me those those little mm -hmm. <laughs> memes or whatever. Anyway, sorry, TikToks or whatever they're Mimi? called. The kids Mimi? Are, anyway, best. What do you think is the best hamburger or cheeseburger? I, I think I'm gonna go with Fuddruckers. Fuddruckers. Okay. I, I mean, there's God Almighty. There's a lot of good restaurants that I've What's had the worst good burgers. Burger you've ever had? I don't know. Like you, you, you were like, I heard such great stories about this, and it was terrible. I, Literally, could not finish it. You ever have that? I never had that not problem. Finished anything. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing that I ever. I've never not finished. I anything. set that up. Yeah, As that's you're still payback. It, that's still payback for you're working on your before picture. <laughs> you're terrible. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I've never. Dang man, uh, are you from the past or are no. you from the future? Yeah, I Came couldn't back. tell you because it would create a vortex. You're I'm, getting closer I'm, though. Yeah. Uh, anyway, I'm I'm gonna say it. Polar vortex. No. <laughs> we almost had one of those. Mm -hmm. Anyway, that's it. Is that time? That's got to be time. Yeah, that's time for the best hamburgers. Comment down below. Let us know. We'll go. We'll go on location. On location. We have no problem doing that. Yeah, exactly. We uh, all have lunch breaks too. But I, well, I can tell you the worst hamburger probably is in Pennsylvania. I know that for a fact. I can tell you that. I I remember. I don't remember if it was actually a, a hamburger, but that might be a whole episode of just. How terrible Pennsylvania is. It's bad. It's terrible. Well, like Western Pennsylvania. I, I think Philadelphia is probably a little bit better. Because they got the cheesesteaks. Yeah, but. That's about it. Yeah. Oh, man. All right. It was wild. Best hamburgers. I mean, I'm starving now. What is your best? What's a good, what's a good, well, so we did the fast food. We did the regular yeah. sit down ones. Yep. If you're making a hamburger at your house. Yes. Uh, oh, my gosh. Bubble burgers uh -huh. are definitely a go-to. Because. You like frozen? Well, you cook them, you start them frozen. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, you can get the ground beef or chopped meat, whatever my mom would always call it, chopped meat. Chopped meat? Oh, it is chopped meat. <laughs> but it's, you know, it's ground beef, 80-20. Yeah. Yep. Or uh, mm -hmm. maybe if I'm feeling a little lean, 85-15. Okay. Uh, throw a little pork in there. And then... See. It's a choice of a new generation. It is. It's amazing. All right. Well, that's hamburgers. Yeah. Um... We're going to topic number four. This this was just something. Again, sometimes we'll throw out topics. We'll put it. We put them in a list. We make the list. You make the list. And I had may have been thinking about something at one particular time. I wrote this particular topic down. Randomly, he selected it. We're going. News. Tell him, news, tell him where we're going. Newspapers. Newspapers. Had, Let me start the clock on that, just in case this gets out of control. How old are you? That well, you're I, still using a newspaper. I don't think they even make them anymore. Uh, no, they do. Well, because every time I go to the bagel shop, they have two of them. <laughs> <laughs> two, two newspapers. Two Daily Records. A daily Record or Star Ledger. Yeah. Are you a Star Ledger or Daily Record guy? I'm a Daily Record guy. Okay. I'm a of course you're Daily Record because mostly because color. Uh, it's color. Color. You call the TV? Yeah. Would you please pass the jelly? Anyway. We'll have to go into that. We're going to have bit. to dissect that in a minute. Um, um, but no, newspapers obviously have been completely replaced by the internet. The internet. The intranet. But that, if you remember, mm -hmm. that is where you would go yep. to look at the movie listings. Remember looking at the movie listings in the I newspaper? Do. I do remember looking for the movie listings uh -huh. there. Um, I, also, I think the idea of the newspaper itself is just, is, I don't know. I, I wouldn't get one. I wouldn't use it even if we had it. But just going out and getting a newspaper, opening it up, and just, you see some TV shows, and you see... They're still reading the newspaper. You see them looking at the, t the, the newspaper. I'm like, that would be cool. It would be not. No, I, it's not cool. Yes, it is. It's very bulky. It's very, no, very... It's, cum bulky. it's cumbersome. No. The one thing that I did like doing is the looking coupons. at... the Well, the coupons. Kids toys. The circulars oh, yeah. in there, right? Toy, so Toys R Us. Yeah. And the Sunday paper was always like, mm -hmm. it was it was a 
a brick house. It was oh, like yeah. a, a of thing, all that stuff. Yeah. You know? Did would you ever get it delivered to? You have a newspaper route? No, I was gonna ask you. Did you ever have a newspaper route? No, no I didn't even know it was it was a thing. We no. never. I don't think we ever really got the newspaper. But now, if you just see them, they just you see the car drive by and they're just throwing them out the window. Yeah, they are. So they don't even remember. So speaking of that, and I don't. They're not affiliated, but the telephone books used to be delivered the same exact way. Yeah, the phone book it was, was just that was, that was cool stuff. Sorry. Sorry. Anyway, but uh, newspapers, yeah. yeah. So, so let's let's take apart the sections of the newspaper. Sure. Let me ask you this first: Have you ever been in a newspaper? I have. Yeah. Um, I have. Same way I was. Well, no, I think I was. No. <laughs> Go ahead. In the police blotter? <laughs> no, not the police blotter. I was never in the police blotter that I know of. Um, actually, there's a picture of my wife and I oh. uh, when we announced our engagement. Oh. Oh. Um, but prior to that, I believe um, in the sports section, local sports section. Well, Daily, uh, well, you're talking about Daily Record? Daily Record. I was in both. Star Ledger and Daily Record? <laughs> I'm the man, that's why. <laughs> um, but yeah, those are the two. And also, by the way, if you any public sale of property gets posted in there. Still? Still. In the, in the what was that called? The uh, the legal... The legal mumbo jumbo the section? The mumbo jumbo section? Yeah. yeah, that's interesting. Which I didn't <clears throat> know, by the way, that if you want to... This used to be the case. This this is how antiquated it is. Now now you have to go to town hall. Are we still talking about newspapers? We are talking about else? newspapers. Okay. In order, say, to add on to your house. Yeah. Okay. And you like every property has property lines, right? Yeah. Yeah. So and there's an egress. Okay. So if you wanted to add on and it impedes on that egress, you have to go to the pro property. Uh, have to go to the property management or whatever mm -hmm. zoning the board mm -hmm. and ask for a variance. Yeah. Or you can post it in the newspaper oh. for 30 days. Okay. And I think I heard and, something similar to and, that. And it has to be of like a complaint. Because it's Yeah, a, if it's nobody cares, if Correct. nobody cares, then you're good. Correct. Okay. So I think this podcast might be taking out stuff in the newspaper. To do what? Woo! What can we do? Anything we want. Amazing. We're just going to so like ask we for the a, randomest stuff like ever. If, if we want to take over part of the Imagination Station in Roxbury, we can like say, a little section. I mean, I don't think we could pretty much do that. However, <laughs> well, all right. we can push the envelope as much as <clears throat> we can. Let's push the envelope. Let's do that. But let's get back to newspapers real Go quick. On. Well, no, no, we were talking, still talking about newspapers. Yeah, but okay. <laughs> like Don Vito. You, right ever take out, you ever take out an ad in a newspaper? Uh, no. Do you ever get a job from a newspaper? I have called about a, a job. About a job in a newspaper. There was, a, I believe it was the Wall Street Journal. In the back of the Wall Street Journal, there was a uh, ad for Christmas trees out in Pennsylvania. Because if you ever go through those, what? No, I'm saying you're seconds. tapping like crazy. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> um, no, because it's if that picks it up. I mean, this is this is this, quality. It's a quality studio. <clears throat> I called one day because that what they were doing in Pennsylvania is they were selling bulk Christmas trees. So do you you if you've ever gone to uh, this even at Home Depot at the side you know these places at the side of the road where they sell Christmas trees right. you're paying at least sixty to a hundred if not Percent more more no dollars for a Christmas tree I'm, I we only have a fake tree okay else? well I mean <clears throat> just because you hate God and Christmas um, <laughs> they were selling these Christmas trees for eight dollars a piece. <laughs> So it occurred to me that we should that I should buy a bunch of them and, and just them set them up. The road. <laughs> yeah, set them up in my in my driveway. Get some hot chocolate. Sell them for six, even fifty bucks. Even Did if you, you sell them for no. Ah, oh. uh, yeah. But uh, anyway, Not newspapers. I, I think newspapers were cool. I've been in the newspaper a lot um, for <laughs> sports, but I was also in the newspaper. But I, I think I was a minor. I actually they, had the FBI at my house. What? One time. Wait a minute. We. Comment down below. No. Yeah, because this is not... No, they are not getting this for free. If you want to see why the FBI, and I'm talking about hundreds of FBI and local police <laughs> were at my house because of me... So hold on. I have a question. Comment though. down below, and I will do... We'll do a short. We'll do the next short. Go ahead. Okay. I have one question. Yes. And yes, they do wear the windbreakers. Go ahead. I was going to take that down. 
<laughs> Burt Macklin? Was Burt Macklin at your house? Uh -huh. That's another question. He may question. have been. He may have been. So, I don't remember their names. Were, were you arrested or in trouble? Uh, you're going to have to no, comment no, no, because, down below. Because then you lied on a previous podcast. No. If that's the case. Okay. Well, you're going to have to find out if I lied and why the FBI was at my house. Wow. Because of me. That's... Uh, and it has you nothing may want to... It has nothing wanna, to do with eBay. <laughs> you waited... You waited 30 minutes, 30 plus minutes into a podcast because I just dropped that. I just remember. Nugget. Oh, well, that's that's the reason why we titled it the way we did. Um, I mean, newspapers save lives. It also prevents. Th was this regarding this predated Megan's law? No, just kidding. Um, wow. How how many years my, ago is this? What does my cousin have anything to do with it? Um, <laughs> I'm not going to tell you. Okay. Well, um, but you will in the short. Yes, in the if people if comment, people comment. If we, how many do we need to get? I can tell you, and that'll be the end of it, and no one will ever know. No, because if the name is not in, I don't believe the name, my name, in a relative you, of mine. But you're a minor. In this. at the time, I was a minor. Yeah, so I don't. And think they, they published could print your name? name. I don't think they could. I'm not sure. No, I don't think they could. But <clears throat> they, but they definitely made. Uh, they definitely talked about you. It was in. Yes, it was, it was in, at your address. Hundred percent. Oh my gosh. Was 100%. was your was your relative of age? No. Okay. All right. I know exactly who it is. I know the exact story. I don't think you do. Anyway, I don't. You're I'm going just... to after this. But, but it, I will. how many likes? How many how after many after I like and subscribe how many this? Yeah, but how many comments do you think we should get? Hold, hold on. If people, At the time if people of even this... care about this. Time out. Hold on. Uh, we we're going about this all wrong. <laughs> At the time of the of the recording of Refresh this video. It, just to be safe. At the time of the recording of this video. Yeah. We have we have less than 90 subscribers. Mm -hmm. Okay, good job, everybody. By the way, good job. Thank you, all of you. Thank you mm -hmm. very much. If we <laughs> get to no, when we get to 100 subscribers, okay, that's a big ask. A hundred <clears throat> subscribers, we will release the short. I think there should be one. Or, I think there should be one or two. No, I, I no, think we no, need 10 comments. No, no, no. no. 10 different comments no, 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 from people. No, 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 no. We need, yes, we need comments for sure. We need to know but then why. They're gonna, but that means they're going to have to share it with people. Exactly. They're going to do the work. Okay. They're going to do the work to okay. get this. I, I promise you, the I. FBI. The FBI. The FBI and local law enforcement. Is your name even Matt? Yes, it at is. At this point? Yes, it is. Are you sure? Yeah. Can we go to the Rushmore, please? I want to get this, I want to get that one done with because I'm, this. Are you hungry? Yeah. It, I'm starving it, like We talked hostage. about the hamburgers. You're starving like what? Like a hostage. <laughs> was there a hostage situation? No. There might have been. Well, you're going to have to tune in and find out. You're going to have to get just get us. How many did you say? 90? We're going to get to 100. No, uh, we need we... 100 subscribers. Well, listen, if you tell if you tell two friends and they, and tell, they tell two, two friends, friends and yeah. they tell two friends, thank we'll you. We'll be at 100. Wayne's World, right? Exactly. That's a nice one. Exactly. New print. We can't be bought. Little. Tiny. Yellow. Different. <laughs> <laughs> New print. <laughs> anyway. Actually, there is a Pepsi. There is a Pepsi. <laughs> <laughs> There's a Pepsi reference in that. And too. a Dorito bag. Yeah. And and Garth was, had his had his feet up. Reeboks. Reebok. <laughs> he was all dressed up in Reeboks. All right, we're, let's go to the Rushmore. Anyway, we're going to Mount Rushmore. Woo. We have this week for Rushmore. Tell. Them. Pizza toppings. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All mm -hmm, right. Mm -hmm, Not. Mm -hmm. You know, I I could have thrown a curveball here. Okay. Uh, a Hershiser, if you will. I would have hit it out I, of the park. Out of the park? Are you surrounded? Are you? Are you? I might. Change. Are you telling us we're going out of nowhere? I'm gonna. I'm gonna. You know what I'm gonna do? Here, you have the pen. I got the magical pen. The pen is mighty. Forbidden, forbidden pizza toppings Ooh. that cannot. So we're changing this. This is not pizza toppings anymore? Yes. From out of nowhere. It's on the official card, Cause, my cause friends. Mostly because you know why? It's on the card. Because Matt only likes pepperoni on his uh, on That's his not pizza. true, now that I think about it. But, but Well, bacon and pizza, bacon pepperoni meats <laughs> on, on his I also like it. buffalo chicken. Okay, but it also has to be only be at like certain places. So, okay. but forbidden, forbidden pizza toppings. Now, this, okay. is, this is just probably a shorter list, Yeah. okay? But there is <laughs> no place for these toppings. On pizza, in uh, my opinion. So are you saying that you've seen it on pizza? Oh, yeah. Okay, you've seen people eat this. I've seen it. <laughs> well. Okay. Um, and some people may swear in the comments down below. I don't like you, that you're swearing. However, if you put this on pizza, you are an idiot and a loser. Okay? A loser. You, a loser. I'm not a loser. All right. 
Well, I'm gonna go first. Go ahead. Forbidden toppings on pizza. I would imagine whatever you have to say, I'm just going to agree with. Pineapple. Okay. A Hawaiian pizza. I was going to say that actually. Yes. A, a pineapple ham pizza. I mean ham. Okay. Pineapple. No. I don't get it. No. I've never even tried it. Why? Though, but I, I won't try it. it. Yeah, I won't. Either. It's terrible. All right. I think I think we can both agree with the next one you're about to say just by the shape of your mouth moving. I'm gonna. Can I step in and try to guess? Because it makes absolutely no sense, but it's anchovies. Anchovies, okay? Why are so, you eating anchovies in, a, anyway? Have you had anchovies, period? No! I've had anchovies no. by themselves. My my throat closed up. Did you really? Uh, yeah. Because you're allergic oil, to the, oil the oils. And the oils? We, yeah, the oils. So, anyway, anchovies. I, I think we might have a collaborate, yeah. <laughs> a, a single rush warrior. <laughs> if we can get to 500... Thousand subscribers. subscribers. <laughs> we will eat the, the Rushmore of Forbidden Pizza Topping. Wow. That's what we should Send this viral and we're going to be eating. I will eat an anchovy. Yes. For 500,000. And I will immediately die in that episode. Well, I'll eat it. Those, so, so those two. Um, those two. I would definitely think that. Uh, so now I'm kind of. You know what? I, teetering. Because those I, I two are know, like. I don't know if. I wouldn't call it forbidden. I don't see the allure of penne on a pizza. So, uh, not, the, not the pasta itself, but the vodka sauce, yeah. I've seen that replaced. And that's actually a delight because replaced sometimes... what? The, the, so they replaced the marinara sauce or the pizza sauce yeah, yeah. with vodka sauce. Yeah. It's that's called great. a drunken grandmother. Right. Yeah, exactly. I love that pizza. It's phenomenal. One of the preferred yes. pizzas at this household, at my household, because this is just a, uh, uh -huh. uh, a studio somewhere is a half grandma pie okay and half vodka sauce pie and they'll do it 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 oh <laughs> you yfb yfb you know what it is you know what it I'm, is. i'm adding the penny just because i can't really think of anything else so spinach no so okay i'm gonna go a little rogue okay not the topping okay cauliflower pizza no no okay no, no, you no, can no, get no. there's the door no. get out don't even get out no. Get out. No. And also the last one. But I have to eat gluten free. Well, then oh, this is not the place for then, you. Th there's a thousand other foods. Go to Whole eat Foods. Eat another thing. Go to Whole Foods. Eat something. Eat a paper a box for all I care. Eat a carrot. Uh, whatever. Yeah, eat a carrot. There may be gluten in paper box, though. The, the, the fourth one, the last one, <clears throat> broccoli. Oh, God. Anything that's broccoli on a pizza? The broccoli shouldn't have any place no. in this world. No. How many? Let alone a, a pizza. No. No, so those are my four. That's my four. Pineapple. But uh, Hawaiian pizzas in general, you okay. could just throw them away. Okay. I'll buy. You've you know seen what? people eat that? Yeah. I've never even seen people eat it. it it's terrible. I've seen it on TV shows and movies. That's it. Anchovies, great call. I'm stealing Matt's on that one. I, you weren't even gonna say that? I, I no. Well, you, it was. I was gonna get there. I was gonna get oh. there for sure. But it definitely wasn't number two. But then anchovies should be number one. That's the, the what, cauliflower pizza. The I can't even say it. I would without eat all of that before up. even eating the anchovies. And then broccoli. You know what I also don't like, which is going to be random. So, so this is now. Now it's yours. Oh, you're four. So I'm going to go anchovies. Okay. I'll go pineapple. Okay. Although I've never tried it, I will say I will say penne just because it doesn't need to be on there. It's a totally but separate dish. Something I just don't like are onions. So I was going to say, so I was going to say like uh, pepper, uh, peppers and onions, but I, I don't I, like, onions. I don't mind. You don't like onions, period. No, especially raw. So sometimes they'll put, they especially just, or especially, especially because they put raw onions on there and they're, I just, the I don't like onions in general. Yeah. No, I'm a, they make yeah. you cry. Yeah. They do make you cry. Now they were caramelized. Still, Terrible. still no. Yeah. No, it's I know for me, dog. That's a no. For, <laughs> you wouldn't not get it signed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's all I had. No, so That's let, a rush let us know in the comments well, down listen, below. Because yeah. I'm sure you're going to hate us for, oh, you don't know taste buds. Well, I'm gluten-free. I'm unsubscribing. I'm gluten Good. Then tell three of your friends that you are also <coughs> a moron. Yeah. So that's good. But you know what? Real I, quick. I have it on good reconnaissance. Sorry. Yeah. That, that I don't think anybody here. Likes any of those? Any of our subscribers are on purpose gluten-free. They are either being told <laughs> to eat more gluten free, or okay. limit their gluten. Okay. Or their wives told them to eat gluten. Okay. Free. Eat gluten, mother. So 
the Matt and John from out of nowhere, one of our things in our in our store is going to be literally a jar of gluten. Oh, can we buy that? <laughs> jar of buy gluten. a jar of gluten. <laughs> All right, so we have the forbidden ones, but you have what's your pizza? What's your go-to pizza? So Mario's Pizza in Randolph is okay. a buffalo chicken pizza. That's your go-to. I love that pizza. Okay. I love it. I love it. Okay. Where it's 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 got Ken blue cheese on it. Ken's mm -hmm. blue cheese. Yeah. It's got Frank's red hot. Yep. There's no red sauce on it. Okay. It's it's basically just uh, buffalo mozzarella uh, cheese um, and little, the blue cheese and and yeah on a uh, okay on there with mine, the chicken. Of mine is uh, from Luigi's. Ooh, my Luigi's. Luigi's. Our Luigi's. Our, <laughs> our, <coughs> he doesn't live in my town. Extra anymore. cheese and pepperoni. Oh wow! They make that a thing great is a pie. grease ball. It is. Yeah. One time I had um. Look at that acne. I mean, that's a, why he wears the beard, by the way. Yeah. Oh, it's just <laughs> littered. He with does pimples. this and littered. literally can empty into a glass full yeah. of pus. Yeah. We're gonna add it's that. Disgusting. You buy the gluten, you get the free pus jar. The free plus the free pus, pus jar. Pus jar. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. So we're out of nowhere, and we're out of time, and we're out of time. Bingo. Back to the future. Here we go. See ya.